you swine! Didn't scare me. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, Dongo. Yeah, very much Park aesthetically. It. Park aesthetically, it looked and felt a lot. The production design and everything did also remind me of Dongo. Training the, some young girls. Correct. At one point of the trailer. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so the empowerment of women and the, 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 the expectations being so low on the on a female, and then a competition where they have the very very much reminiscent to Dongo. Yeah. And I I mean obviously because Topsy's in it, uh, interested. I'm not. Um, it's very, very rare. We've mentioned this before. I think we mentioned this in the teaser. It's very rare for a makeup department to get old age makeup and hair right. Uh -huh. So I don't believe those women are in their 60s. But that's okay. I yeah. can get past that and believe they're telling us the story. And it, that, it's, is, uh, that is quite a jump for some... I mean, Topsy is probably, what, oh, late, early 30s at Early latest. 30s. Yeah, latest. early 30s at the latest. Uh, and mid-20s. Yeah. It, 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 Possibly, yeah, well. she can pull off mid 20s, yeah, of course. Um, so it, it's quite a job. I mean, it, uh, actors have done it before, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, Benjamin Button, I mean, there's been a, a bunch of films where somebody has gone that drastic of an age difference, yeah. Uh, but it's usually a progression, and so they kind of, yeah, have and, it, to. and it's very rare that you can get. I mean, the first one that comes to mind as far as a makeup and hair team being just flawless to the point of blowing my mind was what they did for Gary Oldman in Darkest Hour. Oh yeah. That was extraordinary. The weight and age they put on him was, was really extraordinary. It was impressive. Really impressive. <laughs> it's just, it's really, really hard to do. And it's very expensive because oftentimes one of the things you have to do to make up for the spots that are missing in the physical is digitize it to, to fix it. And that's expensive. Uh, I wonder, I guess I know the answer, the, the reason you would cast women in their early 30s to play women in their 60s is for twofold. Number one, name recognition. Yeah. Number two, I'm, sus I'm supposing we're going to get a, a larger story of these women's lives, and so we're going to have to see them younger. Yeah. So they, they, they can't be cast in the age they are when I, they did what they did. We didn't see any of it, though, did we? We didn't, but I can't imagine this doesn't give us some of their backstory and we actually see them at a younger age. Yeah, you that, know? that could be a reason, uh, uh, and I agree that the star power as well yeah, 100%. Uh, would be a reason, but I mean, if it's not like the argument could be made why wouldn't you cast people that were that age right uh, like that I somebody who comes to mind right off, right off the bat is uh, Shahid Kapoor's stepmom true yeah 100% but then you also have to take into consideration the fact that there's certain aspects of the physical element they're going to have to show for example if these women were in their 60s but they're shooting like a man in his 20s in terms yeah. of the strength and the stability and everything else there's another reason, yeah. yeah. But aside from that, the fact that this is a true story, those are always massive appeals to me. Yeah, because it's a story I don't know, and I want to know the story. Uh, I also hope they don't do with this what they did with Dongle, where they add elements for dramatic effect that really aren't part of the true story. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. But so the synopsis is: this is following the exciting story of the world's oldest sharpshooters, Chandru and Prakashi Tomar. The drama marks the directorial debut of acclaimed screenwriter to Char... Oh, so this is the first directorial debut. Interesting. Sweet. What did he do? I can't... The, uh, the flow. Gotcha. The film stars uh, Bumi Pednakar and Topsy Tanu, which Bumi, uh, Bumi Pednakar had some aspects of her facial features, especially in that last, last thing. She, she reminded me quite a bit of Priyanka. Um, just in, in the natural way in which she was expressing herself and yeah. some physical attributes. I'm very, this is one I absolutely want to see. Absolutely, I mean, we love Topsy. Yeah. I mean, she's a phenomenal actress. Uh, we, we like her a lot. Tishar, uh, this guy did the flying, we haven't wrecked to the trailer, but I've seen it requested a flying, uh, Jot? Jot? A flying Jot I've and seen, Naksha. Yeah, I've seen that. So apparently he screen wrote those. Okay. Um, and tra any he was a writer on Ike Velan. Uh huh. Any any uh, any film right now that can tell us true stories about wonderful women who were breaking the stereotypes and and show the uh, that empowerment that's that is important. Those are important stories. Um, and this comes out October twenty fifth of Diwali. Yeah, it's yeah, like. it's a Diwali. A when Diwali is Diwali? Film. It's in, it's late October. Late October. Yeah, like right around the there. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Through. Yeah, I have it, it in my calendar. It's like a week, right? Yep, I got it in my calendar, actually. Uh, the Diwali begins... What has she done? October 23, October 24, October 25, October 26. So the other main actors... It starts on the 27th. 
Okay. I believe the other main oh, actress wait, was. I only put in one day. In, anyway, in toilet that last week of October. The other main actress was in toilet. Who me? Uh, that we've seen. Yeah, was with Akshay. Remember? Yeah. Um, I believe right. It was with Akshay, right? Yeah. Toilets with Akshay. That was a funny line, by the way. Yeah. I swear on Akshay Kumar. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. That's all we're gonna use. And I, I know. I swear on Akshay we Kumar. Missed, we missed the Mother India joke at the end. Yeah. There because we have to see that one. So yeah. But we're getting there. We got the Akshay Kumar joke. <laughs> So, we get points for that. I swear on Akshay Kumar. <laughs> We're going to start using that now. You know what's really fun? When I run into people from India now who find out about the channel, uh, and, and I talk to them, and they, I can see the delight and the joy on their face, not just... It, that always happens with the Hindi on my arm. But when they start talking about movies and I say, Oh yeah, we've seen Akshay Kumar, and we know Big B, and we know Shudevi, and we know... And I go down the list of all of the people. We know Topeka, we know Ranbir, we know... And just the look on their face of, wow, you know about our world. <laughs> and on the one hand, it makes me happy. On the other hand, it makes me disappointed because the whole world should know about this world. So, yes. And uh, I, this looks like... I'm interested. Yeah, I, ho I, hope it, I hope it's as good as it looks, uh, and I hope the story is as good as it should be with yep. this kind of a story because it's a cool concept and I'm rooting, story. I'm rooting for Topsy because it's time for her. She's starting to do the films where she's now the main lead and the main draw versus yeah. the supporting. Yeah. And I really am rooting for Topsy because we like her a lot yeah. and I really would like to see her become a big box office draw. And uh, So I'm yeah. in. She's, she's doing kind of, it seems like to me, um, different kind of roles, kind of like a... Um, um, Aishman Karana or mm -hmm. Raj Kumar Rao yeah. selection we, of her type of film. She also, this may be a strange comparison because I don't mean this in terms of her look or personality or anything, but she reminds me a little bit of the way her career is starting to go, of uh, the way that Sandra Bullock's career went, mm. where Sandra Bullock started with some films where she was supporting or she did lighter fare and then really started to get into stuff where she could carry a film like gravity where this just she is the film yeah uh, I, and i i'm i like her the way i like i've always liked sandra bullock i've always rooted for sandra bullock and i feel the same way about topsy the same thing with with kalki kekla which we know how to pronounce kalki's name the Kalk way it should be kalki kekla kalki kekla Kalk uh, Kalk we rooting for for kalki uh which we've seen her flex her thespianatic muscles in ways i mean Badla with her against Big B, that for me was well, Badla and Pink. Pink for sure, but Badla was, you've got to hold your own one-on-one -on -one with nothing but dialogue yeah. with Amitabh Bakchan. Yeah. And she, she, she did. did. Yeah. She, she was on stage. She's great. Let us know what you thought.